I need to stop. I've been doing too much. I've been running too fast. I've been testing my luck. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Simgasms, your Sim host, and I am so glad that you guys are here to join me today. So, um, today I am working on the house that I want Dean Summers to move into eventually. If you guys don't know, Dean Summers is a part of my Let's Play that I try and bring out every Thursday. Uh, he just had a baby <laughs> the last episode, so I've been trying to work on him raising enough money to move out of his apartment anyway because it's a super small apartment that's always constantly breaking and it's just like you know he deserves better so I started working on this because I figured it, well, it would be kind of nice for him to move locations and um, kind of have like his own house that he can grow because I do want him to have one more baby a planned baby and I was hoping that when we do have another one, it'll be a girl. So that's kind of my, my hope for the future. So uh, with that in mind, I made this house. And I think I made it three bedroom, three bathrooms. Maybe three bedroom, four bedroom. Well, I don't know. I didn't really put a bathroom in that one at the bottom. But there was a plan to be the bathroom, so... Um, I'm just working on doing the layout here. I know kind of how I wanted the downstairs area to be, but then I wanted to add an upstairs, and that was kind of like, hmm, well, I guess I do want a room for the parents, and then I want one for the baby, so I made those, and then I worked down in the kitchen. I was going to try and do my flea market living thing here. But I was like, well, you know what? He's moving into the house, and usually every time you move into a new house, they at least have a kitchen set up. So I figured I would add uh, the kitchen, some of the bathroom essentials, and then a dining area um, to kind of make it a little bit more easy to move into, kind of transferring home-wise. And then he can sell some of his older stuff if he wants to kind of gain some more money from the money that he's about to spend on this house. I did make it under $40,000. Um, that was my goal for him intentionally was to have him move, raise $40,000 and then move out into like a home, a small home or something. I was originally going to download it from the gallery, but I kind of wanted to put my own little, own little taste on it, so to say. Um, when I was making that dining area, I kind of had the idea of Penny Pizzazz, adding some colors and just a very nice little area get together for the family to gather around. Um, I really wanted to add those uh, windows above the like counter that you see in some, but they just all looked kind of weird. Max's windows anyway. So I just left it with one of them and then um, I kind of I think I kind of decorated one of the- uh, yeah, I did. I decorated Brayden's room. Hopefully he's still a toddler by the time we move out. But yeah, I decorated his room and that was really about it. Uh, I spent a little bit more than uh, the flea market fund on items in the house because like I said, usually houses are already set up before you move into there, at least the bathrooms and the kitchen. And, um, you know, I kind of don't want him to always have to be fixing his house. So he'll continue his uh, flea marketing with interior designing. I left a lot of the other bedrooms empty. I left the bigger room upstairs empty and then the rooms downstairs empty. Um, so he has a lot to decorate with. I don't know if I added the kids' stuff. I was trying to but I was running out of money and I already had to add 2000 on top of the allotted 35 that I gave the person who lived here so I'd make sure that I spent <laughs> what I budgeted for because I, I do go overboard way faster than I want to. So yeah, um, it came out really nice. I was trying to do that yellow scheme again. I'll probably end up changing the walls once he moves in but I kind of just I did a little bit more of a, what do they call it, rich colors, like rich bolder colors. I did keep that dining room yellow just because it's a hint of his old apartment life and I, I did like the yellow. The yellow kind of fits Dean and Penny, it's like the, their color. 
So yeah, uh, here you can see I'm working on Brayden's room. Uh, I wanted to add some curtains, but I just was not feeling the Max's curtains. So I just ended up going with the blue dog paw print ones because I mean it's a kid's room, so it doesn't really matter that there's there's uh, stuff on top of it. I originally wanted to add that that table for Brayden, the like crafting table, but I couldn't find it, so I think I ended up giving up on that. I wanted to add more stuff around the house because it just seems so empty, that one spot up there when you come upstairs, but like I said, I was running out of money and I still had like, uh, I had the outside that I had to do for paneling wise and I still had to do the roof. I forgot that I had to do the roof. I'm so used to auto roofs. Even though I've been playing The Sims 4 for like maybe two years now, I am so used to the auto roof system that Sims 3 gave us and I miss it because I suck at roofs. Like I am legit horrible at them. I don't know about you guys, but you know, it's definitely a huge learning curve with those roofs. As you can see here, yeah, look at that. Look at that. That's just, what am I doing? What is that? What are those? I, di I didn't even know what I was doing. I was just like, I need to cover everything. That's all I know. Eventually, it didn't It didn't look too bad, but, I mean, it could have been so much better. Uh, yeah, I was originally going to go with that green, but I figured, like, it was too much green, too much green and red. So I ended up changing that bottom half towards the end of the video. So I'm super excited for Dean to move into this house. I'm super excited to see how it gets filled as he ends up living there longer. I think I have the lifespan on for my Sims in this game to be long. So he'll be a young adult for another like 50 episodes or something. Okay, not 50. We're not going to go into 50 episodes. Although that would be kind of cool. You know, I have seen people's... Um, let's plays where they're into like episode 105 and you're just like oh my god and it's just like generations and generations technically like it started off as one thing and then it ends up being something else so you know i would totally be okay with my episodes doing that just turning into my flea market goal and then eventually going into like a generation type vibe or whatever that would be pretty cool and I think it would be kind of adorable to watch Brayden grow up and then have his own kids and man now I'm all excited <laughs> so yeah I'm super excited about that and then I hope you guys will join me eventually if not now eventually in the future just watching and going through everything that Dean Summers is experiencing uh, thanks for watching. Come back again and Nico Nico One day you're talking sweet and telling me you'll stay and I believed every damn word you'd say I'm not sure how the clouds gather so fast but once the rain started pouring